I've kind of known you in the past to play some seven string stuff, but I guess yeah. the Evertune kind of allows you to stay in really low tunings and, and kind of lock it in. So yeah. that's been a kind of a big part. Of yeah, your... for sure. Like we, you know, with this new record, we started tuning to drop A and Slow. drop B as well. So like we used to be in kind of like drop C and stuff, so it was no issue. Um, but we definitely liked staying in the six string realm. Sure. So the Evertunes helped us a lot. And I, I still play leads, so it helps me to be able to kind of stay in that 10 to 52 range, strings or whatever, oh. when I can, 54, whatever. Um, Evertune allows me to do that. If you ask my tech, he'd probably be like, Grr! which is, sorry, Jack. Uh, <laughs> he's like, play bigger, but you know, I like kind of staying as small as I can. Evertune helps me keep that tension and stuff. So that's really For good. sure, yeah. yeah. And especially for leads, I mean, I feel like heavier sets, especially when there's like a wound G or something like that, it's mm -hmm. like, it makes your world just way harder than it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it definitely helps me. Like I said, I don't I do not deal with it much. Jai, my tech deals with it now, but it is very helpful, like for those low tunings like that, especially because mm. we don't play a lot in like drop C anymore standard or anything. Yeah. So it helps me be able to do that for sure. That's awesome. And then also, I'm sure it's like, you know, you show up to a venue, it's been cold outside, it's been hot outside, you pull your mm -hmm. guitar out and it's in tune. Yeah. That is so tight. Yeah. That is so tight. <laughs> right well, let's talk about this one. I know uh -huh. you're an ESP uh, endorsee. Yep. Congratulations on that. That's yep. pretty sick. Yeah, so this is just like the see-through black LTD. Um, it has the Evertune on it, obviously. 50, or excuse me, 8160 in this one. Um, this is your standard. This is actually one of my favorite playing guitars for some reason. Like, you know, I have like E2s as well mm -hmm. and stuff like that that I play. Um, but this I, one just feels really good. I have good. some LTDs that I play great. Dude, actually, I Actually, my go-to is like a, is a Viper 400. I, I if all of them played like this, mm -hmm. I would actually be very happy. But it's so, like, it's actually like my heaviest sounding guitar too. It's really weird. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool and it sounds really, really great. Thank I you. love the little volute that they do in the back of those too. Yeah. You know, so you don't yeah. have to worry about, you exactly. know, less of a head, headstock issues. But, well, cool. All right, what else we got? This one. Uh, basically the same thing, oh, uh, different color. Top, though. Yeah, That's it's sick. awesome. It's a beautiful guitar. It like photographs so well. Uh, but I play this one. Uh, I have 5766. I was gonna in this say one. those look real big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 5766 in this one. Um, I only play this for one song. I play this in drop B. Um, as far as song, take a look inside. Well, that makes sense. Uh, play On it the once gauges. The set. Yeah, yep. yeah. But it's a beautiful guitar. It's my, my other favorite. But yeah, it's pretty much the same. I love playing a lot of people ask me like oh because you play solos and stuff why do you play the Les Paul shape all the time but I started out playing Les Pauls I started out on Gibson Les Pauls when I was like young like 13 so it's like it's weird I feel weird playing solos on like like shred guitars for some reason I like like guitars that kind of fight me back and I love guitars that are like heavy weighted don't ask me why but when I like strap a guitar on I like it to be heavy weighted so like if you feel this, the Evertune and everything, the bridge makes it kind of heavy. Oh, sure. I bet the Evertune adds a little weight. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Um, so. Oh, that's like Les Paul territory. <laughs> exactly. So I oh, love. Oh, it's a thick body, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I always try to go for like the, this one's actually thin compared to like their CTM version, yeah. which I have back there, too. Um, but yeah, I always go for like the bulky guitars. I'm a big girl, so maybe that's why, but you know.